The most effective food in Don't Starve Together is Lycan. Unlike its predecessor game, Don't Starve, where honey was by far the best. Lycan is the best food in DST for one reason, bundling wraps. Honey's main strength was its long spoil time, which makes it the best in regular Don't Starve. But bundling wraps make spoil time infinite. This can make items that have extremely fast spoil times normally much stronger. That brings in Lycan. Normally balanced due to its 2 day spoil time, being the fastest spoiling food in the game, it is extremely powerful, as it can be collected very fast with lure plants and wicker bottoms applied horticulture. Keep in mind, any food collected by a lure plant automatically is spoiled. Lichen can be collected fast even without a wicker bottom, just by running around picking the hundreds of lichen that spawn in the wild. The reason why lichen is so strong is it can be used as a vegetable in the crock pot. The next easiest vegetable to gather is cactus flesh. There's not many cacti that spawn in the world, and it hurts to gather it, so lichen is by far the easiest vegetable to gather, and vegetables leave open a spot for the new best food, pierogi. It takes two vegetables, one monster meat, and one egg for 40 HP, 37 and a half hunger, and five sanity. Then if hunger is needed, eat the lichen itself. It gives three health, 12 and a half hunger, and it hurts your sanity by five. So it's basically the same as a cooked carrot, or better than raw honey. Honey is the second best food in DST, and is faster to collect. However, it loses this advantage during cooking time. Pierogi heals 10 more HP, 37 and a half less hunger, and the same sanity, but it only takes 20 seconds to cook instead of 40. And rots slower, also having a 20 day rotting period instead of 15. It healing less hunger is not an issue, as spider farms and lichen farms work year round. There will always be enough food. Plus, meatballs can be made with 3 lichen and 1 monster meat. This counteracts the rotting done to the lichen by the lure plant and gives 62 and a half hunger. On top of that, hunger is not a danger, as berries can be collected and eaten easily at any time, or seeds can be eaten. Health is the real issue, as when in battle you really need the HP back fast. And on top of all that, a honey farm takes way longer to set up, as an effective honey farm takes approximately 80 bee boxes, which is 160 boards, 80 honeycombs, and 320 bees. Those foods are late game though. For early and mid game, there are berries. A berry farm is good if you're going purely for hunger. The berry farm needs to be set up in this pattern, and it'll provide meat from gobblers and lots of berries, which can then be turned into meatballs for hunger. This farm is especially effective for wolf game because he can use the extra effective hunger farm to stay mighty at all times, minimizing damage taken to himself by killing enemies faster and being able to kite easier, plus having pseudo damage resistance while mighty. Spider farm? A spider farm gives a decent amount of hunger when combined with a berry farm. One monster meat in the crock pot and three berries equals meatballs. It's also a good way to get health back after a fight. However, spider glands are not good enough for healing mid-battle, and no, healing salves don't fix this. If you make healing salves, it's not a good idea because it'd be much faster to gather more spider glands than it would be to get healing salves. Or you could just go gather blue mushrooms if you're in such dire need of healing. And then there's a bunny man farm. Bunny man farm can be very effective because it's an adequate supply of meat and carrots. Cooked carrots can be used for healing and the meat can be used to make meaty stew. A bunny man farm can also be combined with a spider farm to make the spider farm automatic. Those are all the effective food methods. Did you like the video? Hit the like button or subscribe.